What's up guys, welcome back. So today, Naruto, Sage Six Path, sort of half transforming. I thought it was a really cool image. It's a pretty complicated pose, but some people like the complicated poses, I guess. Let's go for it, right? So landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hip pose if I go too fast. We're gonna start with his headband, right? Just to get sort of everything in the right place. So we'll just go with a curved line just coming across the top here of his eyes. Okay, so just this big curved line, right? And this is like the side of his headband here and the side here, okay? So, eyebrows and eyes, right? So, <clears throat> coming down here, right, we got an eyebrow that ticks up underneath the headband like that, right? And we got like an extra line just there. And then we do the smaller one on this side. So like this frown line, and then the eyebrow goes up this way. So we're in three quarter pose. So that means this eyebrow is slightly smaller than this one. Then we've got a sideburn here, right? And then what we can see of the sideburn on this side is much smaller, right? Because his head is kind of turned away from us. Eyes then underneath the eyebrow, so we got like an eye line here, it just curves out there, and then we got that spike that Naruto characters have. You can thicken up the top eyelid line a little bit. Like so. And then the bottom eyelid line comes down across like that and maybe like a top eyelid line here. Iris and pupil, so just a half circle coming down from his top eyelid. And the pupil, so he's looking up at us as well, right? So we'll put it sort of here, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Other eye, what we can see of it anyway, just here, top eyelid curving across like that. And again, we've got the hook. Like so. Top eyelid there. So you notice now this eye is a little bit smaller than this one. That's because we're in three quarter pose. So this eye is about three quarters the size of this one, right? But you're about eye distance over. So the width between the eyes. So like here to here, about the same as there to there. So like in between the two eyes, tear ducts. But this eye is just a little bit smaller. And then iris again. And pupil. Just there. So his nose line then, so just coming down this way. Like so. And then his nostril, just there. And he might have like some wrinkles and stuff just on the nose. And then his mouth, so flat, sort of downturned serious kind of mouth and then bottom lip there and then chin there so we're in three quarters so this side is different to this side right so say we can see just the curve line for like his jaw there and then it kind of goes up the side of his face, right? But on this side, you can see a cheek, right? So it goes, curves out around for his cheek, up to there. Kind of like so. And then we have his whiskers. His marks on his face. Like that. 
And then what we can see of his ears. So little skinny ear on this side. Can't really see much of it. And then a bigger ear, of course, on this side, because this is the large side of his face that's facing us. This side of his face is turned away. Ear lines inside. So he's real hunched over, right? So we can't see any of his body. His legs kind of come out from his head. So we'll do his hair anyway. And he's kind of half transforming. So we can see his headband kind of half black, half on fire, kind of with his chakra. So let's go. So we go like fiery, spiky hair. Right, coming all the way around these sort of hair spikes. Another one here. Hair spike here. And this kind of comes across his face, right? So it's kind of like this chakra fire coming across. You can do this anyway. I'm just sort of sketching it in. Kind of like that, right? And then the headband is in underneath. <coughs> so you can see like the side. And it comes across the silver part. Like that. There. Down. Studs. You know, metal bolts that are holding it on. And then we can see the spiral for the leaf. All right, so start with a spiral there and then you got a tail and then a sort of a arrow pointing that way. You might see a hint of the rest of the headband just coming across there. The backs of the headband are on fire, sticking up from around the back of his head. So we'll draw those in. You know, the ends of his headband. Let me curve lines up here, like so. Arms sticking out here <clears throat> and his legs and stuff. So what to draw first? So I guess this arm, maybe we'll get his arms in first just to get the shape for his back. All right, so we've got like a collar. It's kind of like on fire there. And this goes this way. We've got some folds for his jacket, and then his arm goes like so. Down like this. And then we have like the end of his sleeve is kind of ripped. And this goes back up here. And up here then we got like fire. There. And then some fire coming off. I'm calling it fire, but you know. And then his shoulder comes back here and behind his head. Back that way. And then we got like more sort of chakra flame just around behind his back. Like so. And then his other arm goes off the other way. And then this has chakra, flame, and stuff here as well. And then his arm goes out here. And it's kind of ripped and torn as well. It's actually ripped and torn more, so... See, like, his wrist... There. And that has... Sort of crisscross lines 
that they wear underneath. Right, so that's the position of his arms. So the rest of his jacket, we won't draw the hands yet, we'll just get like his jacket and stuff in. So he's got like that bumpy collar. Right, that sort of comes down here. You know, that he wears <clears throat> on the other side. There. And then we can just see his neckline and his t-shirt and stuff in under here. We some more color. This side, it's not quite changed yet. It's about to, it's black. And then we got some more chakra flame in under here. And his jacket. Like that. And some more chakra flame there. So then his legs, right? So we can't really see, I won't be able to fit his feet in. Might be able to fit like one foot a little bit. We'll just get the knee. So the knee on this side, he's all hunched over. All right, and then the thigh, his hamstring and then calf. So all these phone lines for clothing. Okay. And his foot just kind of goes down here. And he has a white strapping coming across here. Right, and then the other leg comes off this side. So it starts here. Like a fold line here, another fold line there, and the bottom of his trousers, this side. And his knee, that goes around that way. And he's got like a stitching line on the side of his pants here. We can actually see some of his foot here and it's kind of starting to be on fire, but we'll go around for the back of the heel and it might go down off my page, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, it goes down that way. You can see like the bottoms of this. And then his foot. His foot is actually on fire with chakra. And there's like chakra all coming off, floating in the air, but there's loads of that, so I'll do that at the end. We just see some of his toes. Three, four. Always have to make sure you're counting correctly when you're doing the toes. Okay. So then hands <coughs> and then chakra sort of in the air. So this hand comes down this way. All right, so we go down for the little finger. So we can just see knuckles, really. Your fingers normally have three segments. So one, two, three, and a fingernail <coughs> here. 
and his hand kind of goes around to his thumb then. Screws up that way. There's a thumbnail in there. Gonna make some knuckle lines and stuff. You can see like the tips of his fingers in here. There's like some dirt and scratches and stuff. Okay, that's one hand. Let me do the other one. Sticking up over here. Hands are always tricky, so do pause this as I go. So, wrist sticks out here. Wrist goes out that way. Thumb comes out from the bottom of the wrist. Curves out to a knuckle. Curves out to the tip of the thumb. And then we go around, like so, the wrinkle there, and then this goes around to the index finger, one, like that, and this curves around, goes up, one knuckle, second knuckle, and down to the third. You can see a little bit of his finger down there and some fingers underneath. And then the tops of these. One knuckle, two knuckle, third. One knuckle, second knuckle, back. And then just his little finger goes all the way back here. Oh yeah, and thumbnail in there. Okay, so then all we gotta do is add all this chakra and some markings just on his cape. All right, so. And you can add as much of this stuff as you want. It's just like fire, kind of. Just all these curvy lines with spikes on the end. Oh yeah, and the floating orbs, I nearly forgot them. So, we'll just add this chakra first. Right, and then yeah, floating orbs. So like just circles, you can use a compass or a stencil if you want. It's a bit more of his jacket back here. So there's an orb there. Floating up there, another one here. And then he's got those markings on his shoulder, right? So we've got like an ellipse. Another one around it. It's kind of like a bit of a bullseye. Right? And then it goes behind here. And it's got this square end. That, and they're all black inside. And we've got another one here. It's kind of obscured by his hair. Like that. And then, like, as much chakra and stuff, energy as you want to put in. I'm gonna put a little more chakra coming off his knee there. But I think that'll do guys. That's how to draw Naruto Sage Six Path Transformation. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.